Hi friends, today I am going to discuss with you IL Master 700 TK, um, that is total keratometry. And uh, the reason why I am going to talk to you about the TK is that I have found a common misconception uh, among uh, doctors and optometrists that TK means total keratometry, that is, it means net corneal power, that is, the anterior cornea minus the posterior cornea. Well, that is not right, and that's a misconception, and I will explain to you in the next slide why it is a misconception and what really in, in reality the TK is. Right. So as I said before, a TK is not net corneal power. And by net corneal power, we mean the anterior cornea, say for example, it is 48 diapters, and the posterior cornea is minus six diapters. Hypothetical, I'm just giving an example, it's minus six diapters. We know that the posterior cornea, the cornea is meniscus in shape. So the posterior corneal power will negate the anterior corneal power. So in this case, the net corneal power would be 42 diapters. But TK is not net corneal power. Then what it what is it? So this is the TK over here. So in that in this case, what it means is that, say for example, in a normal population, the posterior corneal power is minus six. But in this patient, you have found that this patient's posterior corneal power is not minus six, but it is actually minus seven. So it has one diopter more posterior corneal power than the average patients. Say for example, this patient has anterior corneal power of 48 diopters. Then TK takes into account the difference of posterior corneal power of for this patient it is one diopter more than the average patients so here this patient has one diopter power more so the tk will adjust this with the anterior corneal power that means the tk will give you the anterior corneal value of 48 minus 1 that is 47 diopters that is what tk does and in my site, quickkite.org, I have explained equivalent K readings of holiday. That is exactly what the TK does in the IL Master 700. It is not net corneal power, but it kinds of adjusts the, the posterior corneal power of a patient, which is more or less than the average patient, and it adjusts with the anterior corneal values. The question is, why doesn't TK take the net corneal power? Why does it adjust for the, uh, you know, for the posterior corneal power with the anterior corneal power? And the answer is because you can use the same A constants. Say, for example, you had the Almaster 500. The Almaster 500 never measured the posterior cornea. So you use the same A constant, you used an A constant, say for example, lens X, you use an A constant of 119.2. With IL Master 700, you can use, even if you are using the TK, you can use the same A constant. So that is why they never had to change the keratometry index from the IL Master 500 to IL Master 700. The IL Master 700 still uses a keratometry index of 1.3375. And for those who uh, may not be knowing what is a K index, again, I have explained this in my site, it helps you to convert the keratometer measures in millimeters. So it, the radius in millimeters, right? So it converts that millimeters, the radius of curvature from millimeters to diopters through an equation called N minus one divided by R. So this is the dioptric value. This is the radius of curvature. This is the diopter. It converts the radius of curvature into diopters through an equation called n minus 1 by r, where n is the keratometry index over here. Uh, some machines have different keratometry index. Isle Master had always 1.3375. So when Isle Master uh, was first introduced, it used the keratometry index of 1.3375. 
So you can still use the same keratometry index. It can still use the same keratometry index for the IL Master 700, and you did. And what that means for you is that you do not need to change your A constants for the IL power. So that's basically TK. TK is not net corneal power. It is not anterior minus posterior corneal power, but it adjusts for the deviations in the posterior corneal power for a patient from the normal, uh, uh, from, from the average values, right? And adjust it with the anterior corneal values so that you can put it into any formulas. If you have questions, you can always log on to quickguide.org and I will be happy to answer you.